Hey guys, Tyson here with Kicker Technical Support. What we're going to do today is we're going to wire up eight of our dual voice coil 4 ohm subs. The way to get started is that you will series your coils on the back and then parallel what's left over to the outputs of your amp to a 1 ohm load. To get started what you'll do is you'll notice on the back side of the sub we have two positives and two negatives. We have a set that have dots and we have a set that's solid color. The way we want to work is we want to take a jumper wire and we want to connect our red with white dot to the solid black. And you would repeat that on every woofer. So an individual piece of wire would go from your red with white dot to the solid black. And this is your series part. What this will do is it will double the ohm load of your beginning sub. So the series part will make each woofer an eight ohm load. Once we get done paralleling the eight, eight ohm loads, we'll take it down to a total one ohm. So, start out. What we've done here, I've already went through and I've paralleled my leftovers throughout the setup. And the way I did that is I came in here, and we will take our black with white dot as our negative and our solid red as our positive. I go over here to this sub and do the same thing. Black with white dot as my negative and the solid red as my positive. So that goes throughout the entire setup around. So basically all my black with white dots are connected together and all of my solid reds are connected together throughout the setup. So everything's been series along the back side, red with white dot to solid black, and everything else parallel. Brings me to the last woofer in the setup. You can pick any woofer that you'd want, sweater but one, and use it as the last to the amplifier. What we'd want to use is our solid red as our positive, black with white dot is negative. This will be the lead that goes to my amplifier. If you've went in and sectioned them up in groups of fours or twos or however, if you have dividers in your box, you just need to drill a hole big enough to run your wire through to jump to each woofer. You can silicone it shut if you want. You don't have to. You just need it big enough to run the wire through. If you have anything paired off to where they're in groups of four, and in big individual boxes, you can still go from one box over to your second box with your wire running from this group of four over to your other group of four so that you only have one wire coming out for a cleaner look if that's what you want. So to recap, we went red with white dot to the solid black behind each speaker. Everything else was left over to run in parallel and that was our solid red and our black with white dots. So all the black with white dots connected, all the solid reds connected. Comes out to a one ohm load to the amplifier. Keep in mind that you never want to be lower than the ohm load of your amplifier. If I was going to use an amp that was two ohm stable and I hooked this one ohm load up to it, my amplifier can run really hot and or it can start shutting down. I have problems with the system. So never go lower than the ohm load of what the amp asks for. Once again, this is eight woofers wired in series parallel make a total of one ohm. Hope that helps you out on your big sub setup. If you got any questions, let us know. Thanks.